What is up guys, Patriots here, and today we are playing some Modern Warfare 2. I get the nuke in this game, but that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about Modern Warfare 3, the PSN Welcome Back Appreciation Program they're doing. Just to update some of you guys who uh, didn't see it, didn't know. And then, I guess at the end I want to talk about views and how they're down in a life story I need to tell you, but I don't know which story to tell, so I'm going to ask. Anyway, let's start with Modern Warfare 3. It's been confirmed by Infinity Ward and Activision as being at least partially Infinity Ward's game. I didn't see on the trailer, or I really didn't pay attention to see if it said any of the company names that were working on it. But Robert Bowling, who is the community manager for Infinity Ward, who, during Modern Warfare 2 with the giant dickhead who kept lying to us about patches that were coming that never happened, um, he could have just said we're not going to patch it and I would have been better with that than, yeah, we're doing this and then never seeing it. But, anyway, he confirmed that, yeah, the game's coming out. Here's the trailers. They released uh, trailers basically based on the single player. No multiplayer, uh, at least reveals of it being in multiplayer. They probably, I don't think they showed any guns or anything. So, basically, it's all single player. Maybe some maps will be based in the areas. But, there was one that was America, France, Germany, and England. Uh, basically, it's them being attacked and, uh, I guess, destroyed, you could say. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. They kind of explored attacking America in the last one, you know, the White House, the whole thing. Uh, you think you go through, like, Virginia or something. And that was cool, but Homefront just did a whole thing on, you know, a war in America. And I kind of feel it's not really an original idea. Not that they could really be that original, but, I don't know, attacking America didn't seem like an original idea. I, I didn't want, you know, Afghanistan, bunch of sand, but... Whatever. doesn't really matter, I guess, what my opinion is, because I don't play single-player games, uh, for the most part. As you know, I've played through Portal, and that's about the only single-player game I've finished in the past, like, half of a year. I just picked up Ellie Noir. I got on the PS3 because it has an exclusive, uh, mission, and I was going to say map, and that wouldn't have made sense. And I heard that the Xbox One's on, like, three discs or something ridiculous, and I didn't want to have to switch the disc, so... Got on the PS3. I'll be playing that. I don't know if I'm allowed to make videos for it. Um, I don't think I am because Rockstar doesn't usually let people make videos for the uh, their games. I guess like they usually claim copyright on them. Now I understand with Red Dead they gave Gold Glove permission to do the Undead Nightmare pack and do a let's play of that. But, I don't know, and the game doesn't seem like it's that interesting uh, to do a Let's Play of, because it's more of a investigation based on the story, and I don't know if that would be interesting. If you guys would want to see that, I'm going to try to check with Rockstar on if I can or cannot do that. Uh, if not, I'll just ask Machinima if they're letting their guys do it, and we'll see from there. But, that's not the point, I guess. Back to Modern Warfare 3. There was all that leaked information from Kotaku, I think, did it, and, you know... It, it looked like Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it, I, I understand that they can obviously clean up the shit in Modern Warfare 2 and eliminate the retarded perks that caused that game's demise, but it, it, it resembled Modern Warfare 2, and I, I saw the... There was the 50 cal, and I, there was another sniper, I think, and I don't remember what it's called, but it, it didn't look that good. Um, I'm very picky about my sniper rifles, and the 50 cal is nice, but... I know everyone came around to the intervention, but I would like the intervention or, <laughs> God forbid, the M40, because everyone begged for that every time. I just kind of want the COD 4 uh, sniper thing, you know? They had the different snipers, they had a couple semi-autos, a couple bolt actions, you know? I want that. The R700, the M40, the 50 cal, the M21, the Dragnov. I want something like that again. Not those specifically, necessarily, but like two bolts, three semi-autos. I would like to see that again. Other than that, they didn't, there's no multiplayer stuff really out there. I think uh, there was a leak that it will ship with like between 18 and 20 maps, or at least it's 18 and 20 maps they're working on. They'll probably end up shipping with like 15, 16 of those, and then the rest of them being released in $15 map packs. But that's probably how it's going to go. Just uh, taking from what I've learned from the past games, I mean, there are tons of map packs from Modern Warfare 2 that never got released. Um, there were plenty of maps on that disc, uh, a lot of COD 4 maps. I guess they 
probably, you know, made all the COD 4 maps again and then just said, oh, well, we won't do that one, we won't do that one, we'll pick these three, these four, whatever. And there were probably a couple other uh, just multiplayer maps they had done that they never wanted to use, which I'm fine with. There were a few game types, like uh, Global Thermal Nuclear War, or whatever that was, that retarded game type that you can get into hack lobbies with. Yeah, that was an awful game type, because it took forever to capture that bomb thing. <laughs> it was just bad, so that wasn't good, but... At least they were thinking, I guess, but I kind of annoyed that it was on the disc and they just didn't give it to us. They made us pay for it. So, <laughs> pushing me a little bit. But hopefully at E3 this month, which I think it's like two weeks away. Hopefully at E3, it's in June actually, but I'm kind of thinking in June right now because it's getting towards the end of May here, guys. It's uh, pretty good. A yeah. couple weeks left to school. That'll be over. Thank God. But, yeah, so in June, hopefully at E3, they'll show some, at least some multiplayer or something. I don't know. Usually they don't uh, reveal too much multiplayer stuff too early, and then they kind of drop it all on us towards the end. But, kind of hope to see some multiplayer stuff. Uh, I heard they're bringing back Spec Ops, uh, a bunch of missions, I guess, and that's yeah, cool, I guess. I, I didn't play Spec Ops, uh, I didn't really like it, but, you know, at least it's something, and they're not just doing single player or multiplayer there, doing some co-op something. And now I want to talk about the PSN thing really quick because it's kind of brief and this is only for PS3 guys so I don't really want to drag on about it. But whenever the store gets back up, which who knows, um, these they've given you five PS3 games that you can choose two of. The five games are Dead Nation, Infamous, Little Big Planet, Super Stardust HD, Wipeout HD, and Fury comes with Wipeout HD. Um, you can choose two of those, keep them forever. And if you have a PSP, you can choose two of these four, which are Little Big Planet, Mod Nation Racers, Pursuit Force, and Killzone Liberation. Uh, for the PS3, I own everything but Infamous and Dead Nation, so I will not be getting the Little Big Planet Super Status HD or Wipeout HD. Um, Super Status HD is like Geometry Wars, if you've ever seen that. Good game. Wipeout HD, it's a racing game, I didn't really like it, whatever. Little Big Planet, look it up if you don't know what it is. I never played. I played the infamous demo. Never played the actual game, so I'm getting that. And Dead Nation is, I think, some zombie survival something, which I'll be getting on the PSP since I have one that I haven't used uh, forever. I'll be getting Killzone Liberation and I think Mod Nation Racers, but I don't know what Pursuit Force is, so maybe I'll get Pursuit Force. I don't know. I have to look it up, but I'm definitely getting the Killzone Liberation. You also get uh, movie rental that they'll be uh, announcing what titles you can choose from. 30 free days of PlayStation Plus for non-PlayStation Plus subscribers and PlayStation Plus subscribers get 60 days free. Um, the thing about PlayStation Plus is that when you download a game you have to keep Plus to be able to play it so all you guys who download games during the 30 days will either have to renew your subscription or never play those games again. I guess that's the price you pay for getting a premium service for a month but whatever. What I want to briefly get to towards the end here is the views. Where are the views? What, where are you guys? What happened? Where did where'd you go? I, can I find you? Can you guys come back, please? Because we were hitting a thousand views on every video for a couple, a solid couple months there. And now we're barely breaking 300. Hello? Ding dong. Anyone? Where are you? Did I lose you? I'm in my chopper gunner now. But where are you guys? What happened? Where, where's my views? I want my views back. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of working on a a deal I guess that would be based on views and subscribers so could you guys come the fuck back please and uh, help me right now please help me cuz uh, my proposal doesn't work if I'm getting a hundred views so um, can you hurry up come help come back please you know it's it's hard to prove a point that uh, I'm but you know my channel's good and people like me if we're barely uh, breaking a hundred views here so can you Please come back or tell me what's going on. Like, is subscription box not working? Uh, you know, what's the deal here, guys? Uh, I do want to thank the people who do watch my videos. Uh, I appreciate it. But I won't be doing an open lobby if no one's there. So can you guys watch the videos? You know, that would be cool. That would probably work out uh, for all of us. Also, I'm not going to be doing that community montage if no one submits a clip. So let me know if you're not going to submit anything because I will just not do it. 
Anyways, guys, I got the nuke. We won, obviously, because I got the nuke. And thank you guys for watching. If you want more Modern Warfare 2, let me know. If you want Black Ops, let me know. If you want Card 4, let me know. And I'll be sure to get on that right away. Again, thank you for watching. This has been Patriots, and I'll see you all later.